first to our stock of the day, Grain Corp reaffirming its full year guidance at its Investor Day presentation. It expects a 90% increase on the previous period. So I believe that's earnings. The company says it reflects its highest its highly efficient supply chain execution and strong global demand for Australian grain, oil seeds and vegetable oils. So it expects that CapEx will be above its target range, but that will be used to support its storage capacity increases through to 2023. So what do our experts think? Francesca, I'll start with you. Grain Corp has been such a solid performer and transparent to the market over the past while. It's part of this whole inflationary story uh, in terms of prices and food demand. Yeah, look, uh, Grain Corp is, is, I suppose, a bit like a, a broker is in, um, um, they benefit from the, the volumes of, of, of agricultural products and, uh, um, yeah, they've, they've experienced very good seasons over the last couple of years. Um, so, I, look, I do like the fundamentals behind the agricultural sector. It's difficult to get uh, really good exposure in our market, surprisingly, um, um, in, to, to this sector. Uh, but you throw in there the good harvest, but also uh, increase uh prices on their commodity you know, the soft commodities um, most of that driven by the conflict in the Ukraine and, and Russia so so they're in a, a bit, bit of a sweet spot at the moment um, the share price has performed significantly well over the last two years well outperforming the the underlying index so um, look I, I, I think it's probably performed to its um, to its earnings and I know I'd, I'd say it's a hold we don't have formal coverage of it um, I do like the theme, but look, the price has you know risen significantly, and I think uh, you know you know the value consensus valuations on the stock are around where it's trading, so I'm happy to hold it. Thank you. What about you, Mark? Green Corp. Um, it's the the whole agricultural area is actually very difficult in Australia. If you look at the history, it's been very hard to make money. Yeah, you know, we've looked at uh, a few things like uh, Tassel and others over over the time, but often they, what these groups do is they they're a bit like uh, commo they're a commodity business effectively. And because the grain crisis are up and we've got the Ukraine war at the moment, the share prices bounce right back. But if you look at their performance over the years, it's actually pretty, pretty terrible. And it's lost money the last three years. And it may make a profit this year. But when you're investing, unless you're speculating and trying to make a quick buck, you know, we look at a five-year uh, horizon. And you know, how do you predict where it's going to be in five years? The Ukraine thing could wind down in three months or six months and then the grain shortage largely vanishes. The point I'm making is you're paying at the very high range of its, uh, its PE uh, for, because we've had a big spike in uh, com the commodity prices, which yeah, may be short-lived. So as a, as a business long-term, we're showing it returning uh, negative about 15% a year based on its long-term history. So, uh, and then they're spending more on capital, great. You know, so <laughs> so to be no, no interest to us at all at Team Invest. Would you sell it if you had it? And you'd uh, yes, I would. I would. I would take advantage of the, um, the, uh, high, the high record PE at the moment. There you go, that's the stock of the day, Grain Corp, one sell and one hold.